Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect a domain to your Joomla website in 2023. So of course, connecting a domain is an important step to make your website accessible to visitors using a custom URL. So in this video, we'll guide you through the steps of connecting a domain to your Joomla website. So make sure to stick by and let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your preferred browser or whatever browser you have, go to this URL section and simply type joomla.com or even .org or URG. ORG, I mean. So once you do so, you will find yourself on this home screen or main screen. And of course, here you can simply enter whatever website name you'd like to have. For example, I'm just going to type hello uh, with some numbers because normally hello, as you can see, if you click on launch now, let's see if it's available. As you can see, the domain name content is prohibited keyword or let's just type test as an example. This is prohibited for some reason. As you can see, uh, this is already taken. So uh, the names that are not unique, you'll find them already taken or I don't know why hello is prohibited, but let's just type as an example test and some numbers so this is an example you want this uh, website name as you can see the website name will be joomla.com and this is going to be your domain name so no problem let's just click on launch now so as you can see of course on joomla you'll be able to launch your joomla site build a fully functional joomla website and experience the word best content management system for free so if you click here as example, they will take you to this option to create your account. So you can even use Facebook, Google, or Twitter to fill some informations for you and others you'll have to do them by your own. So uh, everything here is optional, of course, unless this one, you can you cannot check this or check this if you want to. And of course, if you have an account, you can simply, instead of logging in or creating your account, click on sign in here and you'll be able to sign into your account. Once you sign in into your account or just created your account, you'll normally find yourself on the dashboard right here. Once you're here, you'll find all the domain names that you have or your website, and you'll be able to uh, simply go and click on manage an example if you want to see your website on, or edit your website as an example. So here you'll find this, if you expand this application, you'll be able to overview your site by clicking here or even logging in into the dashboard of Joomla and start editing all. If you click on login to Joomla, you will find your websites here. With uh, and of course from here you will find this is as your home screen, which is the dashboard. You will find your site. Your site will be able to add some users, articles, article category, plugins, model, media. You will be able to edit the system, notifications, sample data. You will be able to add uh, some extensions, for example, and a lot of other stuff. Of course, if you click on overview, as we said before, you will find this. And of course, let's just go back as an example. Uh, you'll find this is, the, this is going to be the link of your website but you can simply click here which is a live and as you can see you'll be able to preview your website or overview your website and as you can see i have nothing on it because i have no articles on my website or i did not add anything on unless this site which is home so of course that's it's going to be it so of course now let's just go back as we said here uh, let's just go back to the home screen or normally you'll find the domain name here but it's fine as you can see as we said we would like to edit or to connect a domain name to my joomla website as example so of course you will have first of all to choose a domain and purchase a hosting so the first step is to choose a domain name for your website and purchase a hosting and of course there are many domains registrators uh, and hosting providers available so you can choose a reputable provider that suits your needs and budgets so you can follow the instructions to purchase a domain and set up a hosting for your joomla website of course after purchasing the domain and setting up the hosting you will need to obtain the name server associated with your hosting account you can uh, the name servers of course are typically provided by your hosting provider and are required to connect your domain to your Joomla website. So make sure, of course, in order to connect your uh, domain to Joomla website, you will need to access the domain manager settings provided by your domain registrator. And of course, this is typically done through a web-based control panel or dashboard provided by the registrator, not this control panel of Joomla. And of course, 
in the domain management settings you can locate the option to update the name servers and you can a enter the name servers provided by your hosting provider and save the changes and of course this will point your domain to your hosting accounts and make it ready for a uh, connection to your joomla websites and of course you will have now to connect your domain name to your joomla websites and you will need to access the joomla admin panel which we are at the moment of course this is the joomla admin power or you even uh, you can use this c panel right here or control planner right here and of course you'll have to enter the login credentials for us we already logged into it and of course you'll have then to navigate into the global configuration or as an example just go to whatever websites we have as an example this one if you click on it as we said we'll be able to preview it for us we'll have to go and click on manage so once we click on manage as an example as you can see we'll find this domain name option here if we click on it as you can see we will not be able to uh, swap a domains of course and we will be able to swap a domain if we want but we will have to unlock all the features by getting a plan so as you can see unlock all features to unlock this and other great features on the cloudaccess.net you will have to, uh, platforms you need to upgrade your free site to a higher plan so of course once of the features you'll have like daily off-site backups secure ssl certificates unlimited bandwidth and free domain and email and many more and of course your website your website or your cpanel will not be as slow as it is right now so the free option uh, will have or having a slow a very slow option uh, if you click on something the page will not load correctly and you'll sometimes uh, wait for five minutes then they will tell you uh, they have heavy load so you'll have to wait a bit and a lot of other annoying stuff so make sure to get for you a manual or monthly plan as you can see six dollar per month or you can get an annual plan and of course they give you a bit of a discount which is a 10 percent discount for a manual or uh, an annual plan so of course uh, okay I did not mean to click on that but it's fine as you can see it's very slow as I said so it's better for you to get your plan and of course then you'll be able to change the domain name that you already bought on another like websites or other registrator if you want to or if you already have one if you want you can even change it on the joomla websites simply by in this uh, in this domain name option so simply you can go to the home screen or dashboard of this uh, cloud access or cloud control panel and choose whatever website you would like to change the domain name into it or connect in uh, the domain name of it and simply you will be able to click on manage as we said before and go to their domain name and you'll be able to change it from here if you don't want to connect from another one or uh, an outside domain name if you want just to connect this then simply go to the domain name and click on swap domains and of course this swap domains will require for you a plan or a premium plan so you'll have to go and do that and follow the instructions that i said before by and upgrade your site url and of course make sure to test the site url if it's working on another browser example and you'll be good to go so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you successfully connected a domain to your joomla website or you buy a domain name here on joomla and use it for your websites in 2023 of course so by following these steps you made your websites accessible through a custom url and of course gives it some more professional and personalized touch so thanks you for watching this tutorial and we hope it was helpful for you so if you have any further questions feel free to explore joomla support resources or join the joomla community for assistance make sure also to leave a like down below if you like this video and subscribe so so you get more helpful tutorials like this thanks for watching again and i will see you in the next video